Hey everybody, welcome. My name is Kevin Jones and this is the Beginning Hunter video series here on YouTube. My goal with this program is to educate and inform you on everything that you will need to know about becoming a new hunter. Today we're going to do uh, something a little bit different. Um, we're going to dive into predator hunting, specifically um, as part of the predators, uh, one of the main uh, predators that people hunt here in the West, uh, especially here in Oregon, um, outside of coyotes and bears, is cougars. So um, I've... I have to be up front, I've never killed a cougar. Um, I did a bunch of research and I found a really good article provided by Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. There was a couple of biologists um, that penned this article and um, so I really took this into account and I wanted to share it all with you. And um, as stated at the beginning of this video, this is 10 ways to be a better cougar hunter. So without further ado, let's get started. Tip number one, ditch the calendar. So winter, after big game seasons have ended, things like that, um, a couple things happen. Um, one of the main ones that will help you is um, the snow. So snow tends to push elk and deer into lower elevations, um, which will also push cougars, especially when they're hungry, to lower elevations as well, as well to try to congregate in those areas. So the first one is ditch the calendar. You hunt them during winter, um, you can hunt them um, year-round actually here in Oregon so you're gonna have to check if you're in a different state um, try to determine what your cougar season's like here in Oregon it's year-round um, so the first one is ditch the calendar you can do the same year-round tip number two scout locate document so it's you you should try to treat if you're serious about cougar hunting and if you really would like to fill a tag ODFW recommends that you treat it just like you would when you're scouting for elk and deer you want to find areas that hold a lot of cougar sign. Um, so you're gonna have to read up on identifying scat, tracks, um, things like that. It's a little bit easier when there's snow on the ground. So um, a lot of people use snow, fresh snow, obviously, as a way to get on a cougar that has been recently in the area. So scout, scout locate documents. So again, you're gonna scout, you're gonna try to find them. Um, once you locate tracks, um, you're gonna wanna document it. What I use is I use a system called OnX. It's a GPS, uh, a GPS program that can be downloaded to your phone, and it's awesome. You can, anywhere you go, you can just pull up your GPS thing on your phone, hit a button, it'll put a pin just like you would a regular GPS waypoint. Tip number three, set up trail cameras. This is pretty given. If you have a place after, after you've done your scout locate document on your step three, um, if you have a place that you have seen cat tracks and you've seen cat sign, set up a trail camera. Let the trail camera do the homework for you when you're not there. Tip number four, use good quality calls. So predator calling is the best option for targeting cougars. Um, ODFW and the biologists recommend that you spend a good amount of money on a good call. You don't want something that doesn't sound like a cougar. So you have to identify if the recording is of quality and then if the playback is of quality. So think about the speaker. Is it a good speaker? Does it sound like you would like an old FM radio or is it really clear? So think about those two things, um, good quality calls. Um, cougars are super territorial, and if you're out there playing a cat call, odds are they're gonna come in to investigate. Tip number five, call long and call hard. So what you're gonna wanna do once you get your quality call is you're gonna wanna call them for longer. Um, it's pretty common to call coyotes for 20 minutes here and there, you kinda, you know, sporadically, there's not really, um, that's not, the way that you want to call for cougars. You're going to want to do for 45 minutes of continuous calling or more. Tip number six, call safely. So cats are super stealthy, super quiet. Think about like your house cat, right? A lot of times you're like creeping around, doing stuff. Um, you're going to want to, when you do buy your quality call and you're out there calling for 45 minutes, you're going to want to do it safely. You're going to want to have your back to something else. Maybe like a canyon wall. You're going to want to have um, you're back to maybe you're another hunter so that well, you guys have 360 degrees of view. You don't want to be doing it on like some place where you might get ambushed by a cougar because that would not be great. Tip number seven, consider a moving decoy. So here in Oregon, uh, moving decoys became legal at the beginning of 2019. Um, so ODFW and the biologists recommend that if you're trying to target a cougar, you can buy a moving decoy and you can set them up um, at a kill site, a site that you know that a cougar has made a kill and they will return, or um, a canyon entrance, basically a funnel point of any sort that's gonna require a lot of um, animals to come into a short range. Think about just like a regular funnel, right? You start like this, you narrow down, you're gonna wanna maybe put a moving decoy somewhere where a cougar is likely to pass. Tip number eight, 
Don't overlook the details. Most importantly, you have to be quiet. Um, a lot of people, um, from what I've researched, uh, will, will go out there, they'll try to be really quiet, uh, but there's more than that. You have to manage your scent because cats have a great nose. And you're also gonna wanna take advantage of shade um, to try to disguise yourself a little bit better. You don't wanna just be sitting out in the open meadow with no brush around because if a cat comes trotting in to check, check your, um, check your uh, call out, they're going to see you. So try to find ways to disguise yourself while you're there, manage your scent and be quiet. Tip number nine, be ready. And so even if you're not necessarily cougar hunting, um, what I always do is I buy a cougar tag anyways. Um, I have not, like I said, I've not shot a cougar, but I always have cougar tag ready. Um, a lot of cougars here in Oregon are harvested during deer and elk season. Um, actually, the majority of cougars seen and taken are harvested during seasons where people aren't necessarily out targeting them. So have a cougar tag with you, get your friends. If, you're, if you go in a group party, just have one ready. Um, so that way you're not kicking yourself when the opportunity presents itself. Tip 10, consider cougar for dinner. So a lot of people don't know this, but you actually do not have to salvage cougar meat. It's one of the only meats in Oregon that you're not legally required to salvage and take home. Um, so keep that in mind. Some people will just leave the meat because there's no law that says you have to take it like you would like a deer or an elk or something like that. Um, but consider it for dinner. My brother harvested a cougar here in Oregon uh, two years ago and I had cougar meat. Kind of tasted like pork. It's kind of kind of unusual, but I don't know. Give it a shot. So there you go guys. That summarizes and sums it up. Uh, 10 ways to be a better cougar hunter. So if this video was helpful to you, consider liking it. It doesn't do anything for you, it does for me. It tells my YouTube algorithm machine that people are actually finding these videos helpful. Um, if you really enjoyed it, consider hitting the subscribe button and that will help me out a lot as well. So hopefully you guys got something out of that. I know I did. I'm gonna be heading out on a cougar hunt here shortly. Um, hopefully you guys can fill some tags. So until next time, bye.